So in the previous videos, we showed you how to start a project and import your clips and keep your clips organized. Now in this one, I just wanna do a quick talk over the touch controls of Final Cut Pro because Apple has done a superb job here of touch controls. You don't even really need the Apple Pencil and I know a lot of people will say, well, what about the live drawing? I'm gonna show you a little hack to get around that as well. But essentially, Final Cut Pro is so easy to use. It doesn't need much uh, of an explainer, but I'll just show you. Where you see these little lines here in the middle, these little toggles, you can drag these up and down to make your preview windows smaller or bigger. So what I tend to do is when I'm importing footage, I'll drag this one to the left because I wanna look at the clips I'm bringing in. Once that's done, I'll slide these off to the right. You can also get rid of them altogether by tapping the little icon here, which is highlighted by a little image, and that's gonna hide completely your um, imported footage. It just makes the other bits of the timeline a little bit bigger. You can then, of course, drag the timeline up and down. I like to keep this quite small just simply because I like the viewer to be nice and large. Along the bottom here, you've got all of your other touch controls as well. But one thing I wanna show you, which um, is sometimes slightly hidden, a lot of people aren't aware this is here when they first open Final Cut. I'm just gonna bring a clip in, and I'm just gonna bring it in by dragging and dropping these two clips. Now, let me just put this down here. Okay, so going through your timeline with your finger is okay, but it's not really that accurate. You can pinch to zoom in like this, but what I'd recommend doing is tapping this little icon up here, which is for the digital jog shuttle. This will add this little icon here, which can be moved around the screen like this, and then we can tap it, and then this is gonna give us some really fine tune editing. So basically, by scrolling down, you're gonna go backwards through your timeline, and scrolling up, you're gonna go forward through your timeline one frame at a time. So this is super handy if you wanna find the exact point you wanna make an edit, maybe you wanna cut a clip there, you can tap that, tap this down here, and you can make that point exactly where you want it. Okay, now a lot of people are gonna say, that's fine, but what about the live drawing feature? Surely you need that to draw on to Final Cut Pro. So let me tap that and show you. So essentially here, you can use the Apple Pencil to create these animations like this. So you can draw on a piece of te uh, on a video clip and it's gonna animate that over there. Now, what happens if you go to that? I'm gonna delete this one here, create a new one. And if I try and draw with my finger, you can see that actually nothing happens. And it is a hack to get around this. So let me put my Apple Pencil away, tap the three little dots here on the bottom right hand side and it will bring up this little menu here. And then you can see it says draw with finger. Simply enable this and then you won't need an Apple Pencil to draw onto your footage. And in my opinion, it looks just as good. So you can get around the whole of Final Cut Pro for iPad without using the Apple Pencil.